day This is dedicated to the ones who share this journey of such a magical ride. The ones who are no longer here with us, but in spirit, will be forever by our side. This poem is in honour to the former students who shared my years in St Mary's C of E, Hendon High. Back when it was an honour to wear the blue blazer with pride, and house name and colours made us have a bond and unity that we always took in our stride. But any school who tried to challenge us, as a whole school will stick side by side, because on our badge it may have bared a picture of our land, but we always had a lion's pride. Brent Cross Shopping Centre, the central meeting place for our journeys to and fro from school. All arriving on different bus numbers, but the 143, our personal taxi service, on the rest of the journey to begin our day at school. Sometimes if we needed to settle our differences, round the corners where we do the duel. On the odd occasions we'll turn it into a battlefield, when against other schools we felt we had to represent St Mary's name. But Brent Cross was always a place where we'd have fun and games with our peers before we made our journeys on the many buses back home. Before we even entered the school, it was to Ray's shop we would always head. Bonbons, apple, rhubarb and custard sweets on the menu was an energy boost to get us through the day. And those who dared to risk it brought sweets into the church where we went to pray. Because getting caught with your sweets meant certain detention, if not more, that day. St Mary's separated by two buildings, the lower year and the upper, otherwise known as Downage and Sunningfields, each side having its many characters that gave it a special feel. Each building represented by school ledgers if things ever got real. Those years were a special time, felt like one of a kind. The likes of Remy, Martin Benjamin and Stanley are the first that comes to mind. When it was a lower year to enter the upper, we would be next to take the line. The alley, the only connection to get us to and from each building, but some never even made that. I'm sure if you check the chip shop, the calf, the arcade shop, you'd find that is where many of us stayed at. And who could forget the PE lessons with the cross country runs up and down the hills of Sunningfields Park? Thinking back, I'm sure they did it on purpose, because if anyone was feeling hot headed that day, that run would be sure to make you lose your spark. St Mary C of E Hendon High, ruled by the fierce and Mr Woods. Not a man of many words, but by passing the deputy head and getting called in his office for doing wrong, it could mean you'll certainly be gone for good. These are my memories of a school that played a part in the man I've become today. And I'm sure we all have our own memories of the many special moments in our school years we shared in those days. Sometimes I wish there was a magical button so I could go back and see some of the memories we had. Some good, some bad. Because if I knew life would fly by this fast... I would have taken more time to cherish the special moments I had. This poem is dedicated to the ones who shared this journey of such a magical ride, especially to the ones who are no longer here with us, but in spirit will be forever by our side. This poem is in honour to the former students who played a part in my years in St Mary's C of E, Hendon High. Wondering where they've gone 